What's up guys, welcome to another episode of InvestorLift University. In this video, we're selling a deal live. We have one of the top discipline managers in the country, Steve Francis. He was one of the guys that won Closers Olympics Dispo Day last year, where these guys earned $121,500 in an hour and 30 minutes. Absolutely incredible. He comes on and uh, sells a deal. It's in a small town in Florida. We had it under contract for 40,000, moved it for 60K and did that in I believe 52 minutes. So if you wanna learn how to use InvestorLift, if you wanna learn how to talk to buyers, how to negotiate with buyers, watch this video. There's so many key moments in this video, enjoy. So we're gonna be doing today is we got a, a, a random deal from one of the students uh, in Tiffany High's group in Results Driven, and we're gonna try to sell it. So you guys are gonna see the real shit. This is, this is not pre-recorded, this is happening live, which I think is the best way to learn how to dispo. Let me tell you why dispo is so important. So uh, Sean mentioned, you know, uh, we've, I've scaled multiple, two companies passed over a million dollars a month in assignment fees earned, a couple more passed two million a month. We just broke a billion dollars in assignment fees earned for the entire investor life community. And I'll tell you the secret, okay? The secret is really, really simple. You're probably gonna wanna write this down because you wanna remember this. There's only two numbers that matter in real estate wholesaling. Number one, what is your return on ad spend for every dollar we plug into marketing? How many dollars do we get back? And number two, what is our cash conversion cycle? When we plug that dollar into marketing, how many days does it take us to get that dollar back, okay? And a lot of us focus 80, 90, 95% of our effort all in acquisitions. But let me tell you this, the number one reason why wholesalers went out of business last year was because they had too high of a contract follow rate, meaning they were able to get a motivated seller under contract to sell their house at a really low price, but they were unable to find a buyer that was able to buy it at a higher price and make that spread between the buy price and the sell price. Okay. So the real key there is getting your dispo dialed in, being able to find a buyer for every single deal being able to sell those deals at the maximum, highest price possible, putting your kids through school instead of putting your buyer's kids through school because you're leaving money on the table. So today you're going to learn how to do that, right? Uh, Dispo is where we maximize return on ad spend, right? If we just really dial in Dispo, we can go from 15, average assignment fees off of InvestorLift are typically $14,000, dollars $15,000, right? Nationwide. On InvestorLift, our guys are making, on average month, we're in the high 20s to low 30s. Okay, so you think about that. Twice as much money per deal with the same or less work. That's what we're going to show you guys today how to do. It's the greatest hack because if you're getting a 3x return ad spend and all of a sudden you double your assignment fee, guess what? Return ad spend goes from 3x to 6x. Boom, just like that, just by freaking out Dispo. If you get a 60-day crash conversion cycle and all of a sudden you get Dispo dialed in, you bring it down to 30 days, boom, you just double or triple the profitability of your business. Okay, so Dispo is where the Checks are cashed. Dispo is where all the money is made. And Dispo is where wholesale companies thrive or die. It all comes down to Dispo because that's all that really matters. Can you actually cash a check at the end of the day? So super excited to do this. This is completely uncut. We could miserably fail on this call or we could sell a deal live on this call. We've, I think we've done this four or five times and um, I think we're batting about 80%. Usually about 80% of the deals we've tried to take a shot at, we've been able to actually mow. Now, some of those we did stay on for two, two and a half hours, okay? So we are squeezing things down here. Uh, Steve has a deal from someone in the community that is posted inside of Ambassador Life. We're going to turn things over to Steve. Steve is going to show you the deal. And see, I think what would be great is just to do a quick walk through the numbers. Now, Steve just got this deal a few hours ago. It's not his deal. It's someone else's deal. We're going to move it for them. So, uh, but let's, let's dive in. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at what the deal posting looks like on investor Left. I know you've done a couple of email blasts. I think we should go hit it with a, a big wide text blast just to see if we can get some inbound calls going. And then let's get on the phone, hit Artemis mode, talk to some buyers. And while you guys are watching Steve, everything looks so smooth and natural Right, like like what he did on closers Olympics in forty five minutes was an absolute masterclass. Like he was just overcoming objections, qualifying buyers. Like really watch how he finesses it. He's going to make it look easy, but it's literally tens of thousands of calls that he's done over the years to be able to make it look 
as easy as he's going to make it. You're going to see that playing out here on these calls live with buyers. He's going to hit objections. He's going to have to qualify, disqualify buyers. Watch and take notes of how he does that, the phrases he uses, the tonality, the, the pacing, everything that he does. Watch and take notes. And I always say the best way to learn something is monkey see, monkey do. When you get on your next dispo call and you're trying to move a deal, just try to sound like Steve because Steve is the best in the country. And you're going to see that. All right, Steve, let's kick it over to you. You All ready right. to do this? Let's see if we can yeah. move this deal. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you want me to share the screen so they can see the. Yeah, why don't we bring up your screen? All right, let's do that. Let's go. All right, you guys good? Y'all see that? Awesome. All right, so this is Steve's Investor Lift account. We have the deal loaded up. Okay, and let's go where it says view on investor left up at the top, the top left hand view published shield. Let's let's open that up on the investor left site and let, let's why don't you walk us through the deal we're trying to sell? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. So this deal is in Oklahoma, Florida. So uh, it is uh, as soon as you, I get a deal, the first thing I'm going to look at is going to be, you know, what uh, what's the population look like? Where where's the deal at? Where are the closest, bigger cities? How can I blast maybe to a different place if it's a smaller community? I think this uh, there's 1,500 people that live in this community, so it's a it is a smaller town. It's small, yeah, yeah, really small. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna look to hit some other uh, areas on that. But just so you know, this is what they're gonna see. The buyer's gonna see this when they they click on the posting, they see the deal that pops up, right? So the first thing that I always do, I want to put because. I will blast in other areas, right? Um, I want to put the city up top, like right here, Oklahoma, Florida. So they know when they see it, that's where it's at, right? Because some investors, you you do a deal blast and like, hey, I don't invest there. I'm not going to miss it. I want to get this in front of and this open by the right people that see the name of the city and say, hey, I know that market. Let me, you know, interact with this and see if we can make a deal happen. So love it. I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of the emojis too. So I'm always like, this is like yep. this one, the fire ones are, are the biggest ones that I use. And I just like great deal just popping up, you know, in front of you, like, let's see what it is. And then I like to give a brief rundown, right? So it's a two bed, one bath, fix and flip on 1.39 acres. That part typically I'll leave out. Right. But I feel like that, that may be something there, right. It's, it's got a little bit of land to it. So that's something that yeah. is unique about the deal. So I want people to know that when they see the blast, like, okay, this is on some land, you know, things like that. And yeah. I, uh, starting at 60,000. So I use that verbiage uh, because all too many times I've hit the objection where they're like, Oh, well, I gave you exactly what you asked for. Like, I'm not going to go mm. in that. So this, actually gives me a little bit more leverage in my negotiation if that were to come or I could say, well, no, I, I said we're starting here and, you know, we have investors yeah. looking at it there too. That's how I try to drive that price. Up, right. So I love this, that. Yeah. The sales is starting from the blast. It, this is part of that. Right. Um, yeah. What I love about this community is uh, this is something that I'm not used to is doing. Uh, I got a inspection report on this. So that that's killer. Mm, so love that with with the inspection report, the uh, the inspector, and you can kind of tell that the photos. Uh, and this is my assumption, right? That the photos were taken by the inspector because they're very. A lot of them are very up close. Like, hey, this is where the property's messed up. This is what's going on. So what I did when I downloaded all the photos, I actually went through a lot of them and said, okay, which ones do I not want to include? And not not to hide anything, but. What I want to do is highlight, okay, this is what the bedrooms look like. This is what the bathrooms look like. Uh -huh. This looks like. And some of the other stuff is added too, right? Um, I actually did read through the inspection report as well. So it gives me some more knowledge on this deal for when investors Love come it. So that it's yeah. important for you, um, depending on how you're doing it, right? For example, this one, I had the report. Uh, if you have an acquisitions team, go talk to your acquisitions guy before you blast the deal. Hey. Can you tell me what's weird about this deal? Tell me some different things about it so I have that ammo. Um, yeah. It's majors, right? Uh, roof, AC. This one has got AC, but it's unplugged. Obviously, there's window units on the on the side of it. Uh, so people are going to call that out. We got some window units here, but it does have the ducting for AC. So that's done already. Let's go. You just have to put it up there. So let's take a look at some photos real quick just to kind of go through it. This is front photo, right? Uh, funny thing, this uh, usually when I see a front photo, I want it to pop. I want to get maybe an angle shot or something to kind yeah. of make it like it's in a rap video. You know what I mean? Um, 
But this one, uh, I couldn't because this community is so small that Google doesn't drive the street. So mm. yeah, that's something. And yeah, I, that's a, a good a good tip there, guys, that Steve just slid in there is if you don't have a good primary photo, the primary photo is going to drive the click through rate on your email marketing blast. So uh, a good primary photo can literally double the amount of buyer leads you get on a deal. So if you don't have a good one, a good hack is just go to Google Street View, take a Google Street View shot. And a lot of times, nine times out of 10, the Google Street View looks better than the, <laughs> than the photo you got from the seller or from the home inspector. You, know, you got to be careful sometimes because you'll see like the Google. Like I see some people's pictures that still have like the Google 2024 like embedded in it. Yeah. If you move it around, you can get you can get rid of that. So that's yeah. Hey, guys, I don't mean to interrupt this because um, I'm in Florida. So I, I do want to state this before you guys get, get rolling deep. In week yeah. four of the virtual group, we go over our entire disposition process and how we market deals step by step. Um, okay. But one thing I do want to let you guys know is we hire licensed inspectors to do all of our walkthroughs and we pay them to do a shortened version. So it's not as high of a price. Um, we give an example of this in the uh, week four of the virtual group. If you've been in it, if you haven't, we give it to you guys so you can take it to a licensed inspector and show them our process. And so that way, when you blast this out to, because I see questions in the chat, when you guys blast this out to buyers, you're going to build way more credibility and move a, da a deal way faster when you have a licensed report with 100 plus photos. So I saw someone ask like, oh, should we only put one photo? No, you should equip the buyer with everything possible for them to make a decision. Um, and we get most of our deals sold sight on scene a lot of times when we do that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's killer. That's, yeah. That's when I was doing a million a month, when I was doing a million a month, I never showed one single property. Buyers do not want to see the property. You're inconveniencing them by making them go out to see the property, right? Because they have so many properties coming their way. The more information you give these buyers, the more it de-risks the deal for them. The more you just you risk it for them, the more they can offer. So I love that you guys are doing that. That is 11 out of 10, 100% mm -hmm. the best way to get the most for a property. No, absolutely. I, I love this. As soon as I saw the report, I was like, man, this is like next level stuff. Like this, this is yeah. going to help a lot when you, when you sell the deal. I also included it and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. It's included in the bottom. So if anybody wants to click it, they can go through the full report. Um, so a couple of things, like I did want to make sure that uh, I didn't want to overwhelm them with, cause there was like over 150 photos. So I was like, all right, well, let me see if I can pick and choose, you know, a good amount that's going to really give you, you know, what that inspection report highlights one. And, um, and all that good stuff. And maybe on the phone too, I can say if, you know, it comes to an objection, like I have another link, I can provide that for you, you know, whatever that looks like uh, for that. But looks like wiring's good. I want to make sure I get a picture of the, the meter, electric meter. So we got that, inspector did that. We go through a couple of these other photos, little enclosure. So making sure I'm getting, you know, the bedroom, the bathroom, everything. Everything that an investor is going to ask for, the water heater, of course. And it does talk about that in the inspection report. They even went up in the attic, which is cool, because I never see attic photos, like, yeah. ever. Yeah. Which is good. Clearly, so inspector see. shot these. Right. No, it, absolutely. Now, you can tell by the, the how close they are and everything like that. Yeah. Like everything else. But it's... Okay. So, Steve, for the sake of trying to sell this live, because we're a little bit tight on time, why don't we dive in? Let's do a text blast on it. Yes. And then let's start, let's start working it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So guys uh, on investor lift, one of the beautiful things about investor lift is it gives you the ability to work together on building lists. So Steve has never done a, a, a deal in this area, but he's on a level of investor lift where anyone else in the area that has built up buyers lists, he's going to be able to access those buyers lists from anyone else in the investor lift community. So when he comes in here, you see, it says all buyers or my buyers. He's got all buyers selected and that will give him the ability to tap into other people's buyers lists um, across the country. So uh, why don't we grab, let's grab the city, the county, maybe some surrounding counties. You want to do And yeah, what did you hit before? Did you just hit the city and county? I know you, I saw you had a small blast. Yeah, there was a yeah, couple just hit all of these ones. I did um I, the closest major market from what it looked like was Orlando. So I did do a VIP text blast out in Orlando too. Um just to kind of hit that. Right. But I mostly on these ones, I really I was trying to optimize how many were going out. Um, but that was on the email blast. So I don't think I text blasted. All right. Yeah. All right, let's let it rip on this. 
Oh, you know what I think we should do? Let's exclude other wholesalers because we want to try to sell this fast. So where it says exclude. So guys, buyers can have different tags. We're going to try to sell this fast. So we don't want to deal with other daisy chainers and shit like that. So we're going to remove other wholesalers from our blast. And, uh, and let's let it rip. Oh, let's get rid of nationwide buyers and statewide buyers too. Well, actually, this one is pretty rural, though. Yeah, but like a, a hedge funder, someone's not going to buy this. It's too oh, yeah, too it's beat up. It's going to be wow. someone that is like a local, like down the street type investor. Wow. So you want to do all right? VIP send to all. Let's do vetted. Vetted, just okay. vetted. Yeah. Vetted. All right, let's let it rip. All yeah. Right. So you see, with uh, just a few clicks, we now got a campaign going out to thirty eight hundred people. Now, these buyers are all fully opted in. We handle the opt-in for you, so you don't have to worry about TCPA compliance. We've spent millions and millions of dollars uh, getting these buyers opted in for the marketing boss, so it's 100% legal. We don't have to worry about phone numbers, any of that. It's all done for you. I saw a question, what's the difference between VIP and vetted? A VIP means that they've bought a deal off of InvestWith before, Okay. All right. You, so see, prior to this, there's also some other marketing campaigns that Steve sent out. Mm -hmm. uh, he sent out some text message blasts. Now, th the click through rate on those are low, and that's because they just got sent out. Okay. Over the next uh, 24 or so hours, those open rates will and click through rates will tend to climb. We have the highest open rate in the industry. We're typically in the high 60s to low 70s on open rates. And our top teams will have a click through rate of 2 or 3%. And you'll see on the on the SMS sent send there uh it was just sent out it's already got 5.37 percent so pretty good click through rate all right now what's really cool about investor Lift is his people are looking at the deal we don't show the address so all the people that want like we marketed to this that had some interest those are going to pop up in the inquiries so steve i'm going to throw things over to you i i have my own flow on investor that i like to work but i'd love for you to just take the reins here and just do what you would normally do yeah yeah cool um, so typically on these ones, I'm going to actually, I'm going to hit up Artemis mode. I, I kind of work it backwards in, in a way. And the reason why I do that is yeah. because, um, let's say like, if you have an offer on something or people that are like really inquiring on it, um, if you get to it real quick, I hit the people on artist mode first, typically, because I want to try to get a soft offer from somebody. That's part of my process, right? Mm. To try to get a soft offer from them. And then as the leads get warmer, um, then I can start to leverage that soft offer to try to drive up the price on the warm release. So I love that. And guys, if you haven't seen the recording of Closers Olympics where Steve does this, uh, we'll have that posted. We're going to post that to our YouTube channel. Probably, oh, we'll probably post it this week. Watch how Steve does that. He goes and takes a $25,000 assignment fee and racks it up to like 80 some thousand dollars just using that strategy. Yeah, absolutely. So it's kind of, it's a little bit backwards, but um, that's what I like to do. I like to call the, the course the people that are on artist mode. So this for, for y'all that don't know is the people that have clicked on the deal that shows you all the actions that they took, um, you know, and everything that they've done on it. It gives them a little score here. Uh, this guy did a lot of work on this, on this property. So he looked at it for a while. Uh, you can show buyer actions here. He viewed it five times, added it to favorites, created an offer, did all this stuff. So I'm actually going to... Oh, so you already have an offer on this. What's his offer coming out? Uh, let me let me see. Hold on. So we haven't even touched this deal yet. And we already got, oh, 52000 Not bad. Yeah. That's, that's so you're going to leave him in your back pocket, mm -hmm. go hit some other guys, and then come back to him and be like, hey, look, I already got 60 from someone else. Yeah. Do you want this? Coming out 65. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, now, shit, I didn't even see that. Now that I know that there's an offer there, we can leverage that offer to drive it up and then vice versa. Yeah. And then once I get to him, there's the low hanging fruit. Then we can kind of, we can have that little more serious conversation where um, I can almost tip the leverage over on, on our side a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and can we show one more thing, Steve? I know he also uploaded his Hold on. Box. Hey, Rob. Let's take a I look. Not... Yeah. Rob. So is this yeah. the property we're moving right now that you guys are talking about that got that offer? Yep. Yeah, we just text so when blasted it. We, got an that offer. Out? we just did it in front of you right now. We did do an email blast this morning, like a yeah. couple hours ago. So we started the emails about two hours ago, two or three hours ago. When did you send it out, Steve? Uh, I, I think it was, I think they all came out probably between, it was around two o'clock ish is when they came out. Yeah. Yeah. What's the list price? Beautiful. List price is 
sixty thousand. And so then someone that got, responds like that, are they just going to like lowball it if they're just going to push an offer that like that? They will. Yeah, they're always going to lowball, but we're still in the money. This thing's under contract yeah, yeah. for 40,000. 40, so we already got a $12,000 profit on the board. Let's see if we can push it all the way up to 60. That would be ideal. Yeah. But that's good. I mean, like, like, like we already got an offer on this. This is great. This is great. This is a great, great start. Now let's go look at his proof of funds because I'm, I always like, I'm curious with proof of funds, like how much do they actually have? I've opened proof of funds sometimes and sen- seen like 40 or $50 million in the account. And that always is very interesting. Um, let's okay, see yeah. how much cash he's got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a legit buyer too. I know who this buyer is. Oh, nice. I, I think I've sold this guy deals before. All right. Okay. Beautiful. So we're going to leave. Do you want to hit him right away? Or I think we should hit smaller buyers first. Would you agree? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to try to leverage. Well, so now now that I have an offer, I'm, I'm actually going to go for the middle middle of the road, right? So we're getting these guys that are just uh, – these are all new too. So we can even see what notes. What's ARV? Stop, stop. Please send something and kiss me. Okay. So, again, that's also a window into, you know, how serious these buyers are, right? So – I'm going to hit these guys up now. Whereas before, if I didn't have an offer, I would kind of start working from back to front so that I can try to leverage, get some soft offer and then go to my more serious guys who actually inquired about the property. And then at the end, I'd end with the, with the offer. But now that I have this, that I can already leverage. We're going to call some of these guys. Yeah. Cause we might be able to sell this in like, like, like that, you know? Yeah. 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 We always say like, um, you know, you can always throw it out on any list, but like actually driving and having those conversations is like the most important thing. You know, just mm-hmm. seeing what people are thinking about the deal um, and anything with it. Yeah. And and I'm going to use, you'll see, I use, I have a kind of a five step process and it's the same thing that I use with the closers Olympics. And it, it's ideally it's, you know, your intro when you start the conversation, um, then you, I like to vet the buyer next. So the things that I, uh, questions that I ask are more vetting questions. I'm, I'm not focused on the deal. I'm focused on the buyer. And then we move to the deal. And then from there, we do a trial close dep- and depending on, you know, what we're talking about. And then after that, you either assign the thing or set the appointment or, you know, figure out, you know, how you can move forward on it. But let's call. Right. do some live calls right now. You want to call Jeff real quick? Let's do it. Let's do some live calls. All right. My favorite part, man. <laughs> Steve's a god on the phones. Close, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, this is Steve. How are you? Oh, yeah, good. Good. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. The uh, reason why I'm reaching out is uh, you'd express some interest in a deal that I had out in uh, Oklahoma, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, I clicked on it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm curious to see where that was at. Is that, um, a, is that a market that you're familiar with? Not really. No. no. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I do look at stuff around the Ocala National Forest. Okay. Mostly, I was seeing if it was adjoining National Forest land by any chance, or mm. it had significant acreage with it. It's about five minutes away from the National Forest. I know that, and um, it's it's on about one point three nine acres. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that particular property probably wouldn't be in anything I'd be interested in. Okay. But you might come up with others later. Yeah. Um, so do you work in the Central Florida area? No, no, I'm actually virtual. I, I actually work out in San Antonio, Texas, but uh, we get deals, you know, all over the U.S. So we're able to to put them in front of guys like you uh, with the software. So, um, you know, it, it's kind of, it's, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, so you are an active investor around that area. You're just looking for more acreage or what are you looking for? Yeah, I'm pretty active. It, um, I've uh, buying rental properties or... Okay. Um, there's one I that I flipped last year, or more land. I could do some new builds. Got it. Land, um, yeah. So mo- mostly uh, Central Florida area, kind of north of Orlando. Okay. Looking at. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, I appreciate you, yeah. you know, like clicking through and taking a look at the property. And uh, I definitely, if I help you, Martin, you for that. If we get anything out in that area, uh, you know, land, new builds, things like that, then I'll definitely reach out. Yeah, that sounds good. By the way, where are you pulling your leads from on finding these properties? Are they typically pre-foreclosures or 
addictions, other scientific No, it, it depends. With with a with a software like this, typically I there's some other investors that may be local in the area or they're pulling their list some way and I just kind of help them move it because we we have the capability to put it in front of the right people. You know what I mean? Um and then yeah, yeah. And the partner actually uses uh, you know, uh, license inspectors and all that good stuff. So um they're they're really on point. So um but yeah i'll definitely keep Sweet. you posted on any deals that we get out in the area and uh you know hopefully we can do some business down the road okay all, all right. right sounds good yeah yeah thanks so much jeff have a good one thanks thank you all Bye. right you too take care Bye. Bye. all right i am going to skip these ones um actually i'm gonna call this guy yeah if he's asking for area b that shows buying intent right and now, guys, the beautiful thing here is like you're not having to skip trace these guys. Like these guys have already registered as buyers on Investor Lift. You can see beside their name, they have a score and that shows like how much activity they're they're taking on Investor Lift. So this guy's got you know, almost twelve thousand buyer score. He's very active. He's already opted in for texting. Um, it's just it, the, the time it would take to normally find a buyer like this in our market. You've never been in. You're gonna have to pull list. You're gonna have to skip trace them. Call a bunch of wrong numbers. Like he's just going boom, 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 boom through real phone numbers, having real conversations way faster. Absolutely. Okay. So for time real quick, I'm just going to, that went to voicemail. I'm not going to leave a voicemail, but what I will do Hey, Wilbur, I'm going to text. Um, hey, Wilbur, this is Steve. This is my sideline number. So um, it most likely is going straight to, to spam, spam notified, stuff like that. So I put this is Steve on the off chance that he has like an apple. So when I call again, it may say possibly Steve. Right. So that that mm. has my, my calls here. Uh, people picking up. Yeah. So. Uh, so I just put, hey, this is Steve. Give me a call about the deal at Oakwala. And I'm going to hang tight for right now to give him a call right back. Um, it's an old acquisition trick that I used to do, which is if you have your phone on you and I text, hey, this is Steve, give me a call. Now you're curious at least, right? Yeah. Hey, Wilbur? You should call Wilbur Craig. Glad that uh, you gave me a call today and look forward to talking to you. All right. I texted him already. So for the sake of time, I'm, just not, I'm not going to leave a voicemail on this one. I'm going to hit him back up, though, for sure. These guys said stop. You got Jim Van Dyke coming up next. So I like this because he's got a lot of activity over here. So it also shows that he's been at 200,000 buyer score, almost 300,000 buyer score. So Yeah, I, I think I know Jim, too. Van Dyke and David E. Properties, leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, what's going on, Jim? This is Steve. I am reaching out because you had expressed some interest in a deal that I had out in uh, Oklahoma, Florida. Uh, give me a call back when you can. 210-910-5719. Again, this is Steve about a deal in Oklahoma, Florida at 210-910-5719. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. All right. Hey, James. All right. So I'm doing the same thing with Jim real quick. Let the voicemail on that one because we got a couple more. A couple more good calls. Mary asked a good question on whether or not Tiffany's dispoing deals outside of Columbus using InvestorLift. 
The answer to that is certainly yes. Nick, you want to answer that one? Yeah, so um, we actually have been buying properties in uh, Toledo um, with uh, Tiff and uh, Josh. They went to school up there, so we have a bunch of rentals, and we've been uh, pushing uh, our market out there. So we use uh, Investor Lit for our properties um, outside of Columbus, um, specifically Toledo. That was Julianne. Let's try that number one more time and see if I can get Six, six, seven, nine. Oh, that one. All right. Okay, Rob, what do you think? So Next what, I'll tell you what I would normally do here, and I'm wondering, I would not call Simon back yet. Yeah. That's I what think I Simon is a legit buyer. Like if we look at his buyer score, he's got 167,000. So like he's gonna be very safe. Right. I wanna sell I think we wanna sell this to Simon, but we wanna sell it to him at full asking price. Mm -hmm. So I think the move here, what I would do is actually go, because this is rural, if this wasn't rural, I would just hit our Artemis mode list. So Artemis mode is going to show us, guys, all the people that have looked at our deal. But because this is rural, like, we're not going to have a ton of people that, like, people might have looked at it, but, like, on these rural deals, what you tend to find is people are like, oh, yeah, I looked at it, but, like, this is way out of there for me. Mm -hmm. So I think the trick that I use a lot of times is I'll go to neighboring buyers so neighboring buyers, you see how we have this list of all the people that have looked at our deal on uh, neighboring buyers. When we click on neighboring buyers, we can go and we can look at all the exact same lead lists from other people that have sold deals on investors nearby. So what we could do, if you click um, neighboring buyers at the top, it'll take a second because there's a lot of properties sold by it, but just click, yeah, click on that. That's going to start going into these other investors accounts and pulling in the lead list that these other guys generated when they were selling their deals. And then it's going to give us a stacked rank list of the leads that everyone generated on every property that was posted on InvestorLift in this area. And my hope is that there's some people that made offers. So if we can find even just one or two other buyers in this area, if this is a major city, there'd probably be like 50 or hundred. That made offers, but like, okay, click on Kendrick. So this guy has made offers within a five mile radius. So we know already that area is not an objection. He's made offers. Just look, August 17th, he made two offers. He That means he probably got an bidding war on another property within five mile radius. So we already know he's interested in this area. And we even have the address of the property he's interested in. Same thing with Kim Davis here. She, again, bid it on another property within five mile radius. Uh, so these are going to be our best leads. So I think what we do is we hit a few of these that have made offers on other stuff nearby because then location is not going to be a, as much of an objection. Absolutely. See if we can get one of them up to 60000 and then we call up Simon and, we're, and then we say, hey, we already got a full price offer at sixty. Let's go to sixty five and we can get this deal done today and see if we can sell this above ask. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Or All at right. least do it at sixty because Simon's going to be a legit buyer. So we got Kendrick right now that I'm reaching out to. Yeah. Now they might not have seen our deal though. So the Hey, what's up, Kendrick? This is Steve. How are you? Good, good. Reason why I'm reaching out is uh, I see that you purchased deals out in the uh Oklahoma, uh area in Florida. Um I do have one right now available and was wondering if you guys were still picking up deals out in that area. Um, it depends. Uh, okay. If you guys can the address, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. So this one is on Southeast 95th Street. It's uh, 19175. What uh, what type of deals are you all typically buying out there? Okay. Um, I mean, that's because I, I typically buy in Belize this afternoon. Okay. Uh, I wasn't able to find deals over there, so I ended up buying a property out in um uh, in Ocala. Okay. So I'll, I'll take a look. That's something that, that you know fits my criteria, then then I'll let you know. Right. Okay. Perfect. What what uh what type of properties? Like I said, I mean this one is a uh, a two one uh, about eight thirty two square feet. I think uh, total building square footage is around twelve hundred. There's a little enclosure. Um, of course, living square feet is eight thirty two. Um, it is on about one point three nine acres. Um, is that more or less something that you guys would pick up? It, it all depends how far it is from actual Ocala. 
Mm. So it all depends because if it's too far or it's something I don't buy. Gotcha, Like gotcha. if it's deep in Oklahoma, then yeah. It is, let me, let me see, because I think it is on the outskirts. I think it's right by, let me double check real quick. I want to. Yeah, I can look at it. What's what's the address? Yeah, address is East 30, um, I'm sorry, 95th Street. Ninety I think you fifth. switched the number Yeah. there. 95th. Ninety fifth. Nineteen one seven five. Uh, 19175. What are the deals that you're working with in the area? Uh, right Can you now, give me a list? I think I've, we've got some other ones kind of in the Orlando market. I think somewhere around there. Uh, but this one right now is probably our hot, hottest one, to be honest with you. Um, I know it's kind of a rural area, but it's right by the National uh, National Forest. So. Yeah, you're kind of deep. I think I've seen that one. Um, are you guys? Let me see. Yeah. No, so yeah, that's something I wouldn't buy. Hey, how much are you guys asking for that? Guys, we're asking sixty for it. That's not bad. Yeah, that's that's what that's where we're starting at, Okay. right? Uh, we we do have some offers that are coming in, kind of you know right close to it. But Yeah. I mean, if if it works for you, I mean, the our comp right now is it actually rents for fourteen fifty if you're doing buy and hold. Um, you know, the the equity is definitely there for sure. So. Yeah. The thing is, let me see, it's not even that far. It's not. Oh, no. Um, um, another investor who lives in that side of town, I can send him this info. Okay. And I can go ahead and click it out. That's something that works for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um did did you have his number on him? Maybe I can just like reach out to him right now. I do. Here, let me get you his number. Okay. Is this your cell phone? This is, yes, sir. Yeah, you can call me, text me on this. Yeah. If, if you can, just um, when you get my text, if they're probably with your name Okay. and your company name, like, go ahead and save it on my phone. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'll send you, I went ahead and I sent you his, his number. All right, let me make sure. Got it, Okay. got it. Josiah. Okay, beautiful. All right, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Um, so but before I let you off the phone, there's absolutely no chance for the 60 on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. hey, right Okay. now I'm working on a deal up in Ocala, so it's probably not. Um, but if you do have anything like in Central Florida, like Orlando, Okay. Volusia County, like those areas, Central Florida, I'm always interested in. Okay. Let me um after I hop off the call, we're, we're I'm working on this for a little bit because we do have uh we're getting a lot of buzz on it. So I will take a look at the one I have in Florida. I think it's a condo, but I'll reach back out, okay? Not at all. Thank All right. you. Sounds good, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I got the other guy's phone number. Oh yeah, 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 love he text that move. he texted it to me. But let me I want to see if you that guy's actually in. Let me see, we got a couple more. Check this one out. No, stop. stop. Okay. All right, cool. So let's go back Okay. to here. Never buyers. Yeah. All right. Let me. Kim Davis. Or do you want to hit? So that, that phone number he gave you, that was someone he knows that's a big buyer? I didn't catch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said, "Hey, hey, I've got a, I've got another investor that I know that is more close to that area. Maybe he'll pick it up." So, Nice. um, So why don't we call that guy right away and then re reference this guy's name? Be like, yo, Kendrick, just give me your number. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I got you. And if anybody has questions about what exactly we're doing right now, where in the software this is, feel free to ask. Yeah. All right. We got voicemail on that one. Let me. All right, cool. So I just uh, did the same thing, texting him again. Call him one more time. He's got the same area code as Kim, so they're local to the Nice. area. Good. That's always a good sign. That's um one thing that I didn't mention when I start this. Typically, when I go to Artemis mode, 
I'm going to Google, like, what is the area code of, you know, that the market that we're in. And then I hit those guys first because they're local. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's not to say if you're not local, you, you're not a good buyer, but I just like to hit those guys first. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to. All right, nothing on that one. So let's go. Do you want to make more money? I want money going back in the back like this. Do you want to make more money? Do you have deals sitting in your pipeline that is just not moving? Maybe it's a crap deal. Maybe you are. Crap. Let's sell your deal live on Wednesday. Bring your deal. Click the link below and we will sell it live and show you that it's possible on InvestorLift even though you can't do it. We can do it. We can help you. Bring your deal. Click on the link. Let's sell that deal and make some money. Money. Money, money, money. Miss Can, let's reach out to her. 352. Hey, Kim. Yeah. Hey, Kim, this is Steve. How are you today? I'm good. Good, good. Good. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. I'm uh, I'm reaching out because I see that you are an investor out in the uh, Oklahoma uh, market. Um, looks like you were potentially looking for a property over at the Southeast 95th Place Street. I've actually, um, I've got a deal on that street. Are you still looking for deals out there? Any deal. Okay. Okay. Are you local to that market, or are you familiar with that market? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many? How many do you typically do out there? I'm sorry. I said, uh, how many deals do you typically do, kind of in that surround that surrounding market? I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Which market is it? Uh, so this one is uh, Oklahoma, Florida. It depends on the deal. I mean, I've done from there. It's not my favorite place. Gotcha, gotcha. But if it's a good enough deal, then you'll you'll go ahead and scoop it up. Uh, I'll consider it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The the one that we have there in that market is a, it's a two bedroom one bath over on uh, South Ninety Fifth Street. Um, about 832 square feet. It does have a little land with it. Uh, 1.39 acres is what it comes on. Um, and then, you know, our, one of our comps for the area closest by, it actually rents for 1450. Are you typically like fixing and flipping? Or are you renting? What's that picture look like for you? We only fix and flip. Okay. We do not do rental. No, perfect. Perfect. This one is uh perfect for that one. I had a guy that was just interested at our, at our full asking price, but he was like, man, I got a deal in, um right by the national forest out there and he's like it's a little too far for me but um you know if you're purchasing out there i'd love to put this in front of you does that sound like a deal that you would yeah, do i probably say that but go ahead yeah 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 this one we're uh we're asking 60 60 000 for it um you know with everything that you know we've just talked about on that deal does that number kind of seem like it may make sense for you uh, I, I don't know. I have to look at it. Okay. All right. Every, uh, every wholesale deal that started across my desk in the last six months has been too high. Ah, so. uh, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. I'm probably not going to be interested, but I'll look at it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Well, uh, what I'll do then is I'll shoot it over to you. I'm just curious, what's your process look like once you get that deal in front of you then? Um, like, how long is it going to take you to make a decision on this one? Because I know um, we do have an offer already. Uh, I definitely want you in the running for sure, but uh, it really kind of depends on what that process looks like. I'd like to go tomorrow. I just, uh, okay. I've had a really rough day. Oh, man. I just had a closing phone through, and uh, oh. right now, I'm sorry. But for sure, for sure. No, I get it. I get it. I got a bunch of stuff going on right now. Okay, okay. What I'll, what I'll do is I'll send it to you, and hopefully I can replace that closing that fell through with this one because uh, it is a, definitely a really good deal. Um, but let me know. I know you got stuff going on right now, so I'll shoot it to you. Um, again, I can't make. I'm sorry. Here's the car key right here. 
Oh, okay. Well, um, but like I said, you know, I can't make any promises that it's still going to be available tomorrow, but I'm going to shoot it to you anyway, just on the off chance and we'll, we'll connect. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank All right, Kim, have a good one. Thank you. All right. Nice. Pushing <laughs> scarcity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, I mean, she, I kind of felt bad because it sounded like she was having a really hard day, but she was like, uh, a closing fell through. And I was like, well, let's replace it with this one. Cause I know. Yeah. Right? I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, i'm bringing you more money i know you're sad that you lost money but i got more money i can give you yeah 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 i didn't okay. i didn't want to like pull the like it'll be even sadder tomorrow when this one's gone because it's a killer deal yeah right? right but you did like you did gracefully okay this <laughs> I was, I was that looked, close. yeah i was like i was like oh is he gonna go for it is he gonna go for it <laughs> I, was, I was like <laughs> It'll be even more sad when I show you how hot this deal is. <laughs> you look at tomorrow and sorry, you sold. Her tonality, uh, I was just like, ah, oh, man, dude, she sounds like she's having a terrible yeah, time. No. But uh, no, I think you, I think you had it well. You made the right move there. Okay, this guy's been bidding on three properties within five miles, so this is like the best one I've seen so far, okay. other than Simon Otwell. All right, let's hit, uh, let's hit this one, and then we'll see it. Yeah, that's funny, man. Yeah. Mr. Garrett. Hello. Hey, Garrett. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? This is Steve. How are you? Good. Good, good, good. I, uh, the reason why I'm reaching out is I see that you are uh, an active investor out in uh, the Oklahoma market. Um, I actually picked up a killer deal out there. Um, I was wondering if it was something that you'd uh, consider purchasing. You have to email me or text me. Okay. I respond if I like it. If I don't respond, don't call me. Yeah. Hey, I got you, man. I got you. What uh, What's your typical time frame on getting back? I don't get back. If I like it, I'll get back to you. I love it. I'll come back to you. I don't like it. I'm not even gonna respond. I get fifteen of these a day. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't mean to be rude, but no, I'm you're good. Not. Step back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Do, do you mind real quick? Because what I'll do as soon as I get off this phone, I'll shoot it over to you. I'll shoot you that text. Uh, and then I'll kind of, you know, no news is bad news, I guess. But this one real quick is a is a two one eight thirty two square feet on one point three nine acres. Um, it is a fix and flip. Right. It's uh, in Oklahoma, Florida. It's over on um, what is it? Southwest. Um, we're asking 60 for it. Southeast. Yeah. Southeast. Is it a mobile home? It's not a mobile home. No, sir. It is a wood frame house. Um, I also have an inspection report on it as well. Um, it's it's a kind of general inspection. How old is this house? Uh, this house, let me double check for you. So I want to make sure I give you the right answer. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. 1953 is how old the house is. Probably not in my ballpark, but let me do the address. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the address right now is at 19175 Southeast 95th Street. One seven one seventy fifth street. Yeah, fifth street. All right. Yeah. Oh, that ain't Typically, I think I think you have to put like if you're looking at it, it's SE is what what ends up like hitting the algorithm there. There it is, Eugene Brady. Yeah, there you go. Okay, nine. Let's see, work late for. I know the area. Mm -hmm. It's probably it's probably a no. I I would do it this way. It's just because the area is really you know, rough. Right. I mean, you don't live out there. You don't. Have, this is not Ocala. This is yeah. Not even really downtown Oklahoma. This is out in the trailerville of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. People don't like. They got rebel flags out there on the road. And they don't like people riding up and down the street kind of thing. I right. Mean, it's like a bunch of meth going on probably. Yeah, math is like uh, like it's like what they, they put on the uh, on their prostate plate. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna see you try it, man. <laughs> That's funny. Um, cool. I mean, it's not my gig, but I I kind of you know I'll, I'm just mildly curious. I'll just send me it to me on my email. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, do you mind if I text it to you? The the platform that I use actually like it'll it'll pick up through the text message. It'll show you the photo and everything, and you can hit it and. Text it to me. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Do you do you think uh like I said that that 60,000 price point, I mean is that enough to kind of pique your interest more in the potentially 
Yeah, you, that's what it is. It's only that's only the reason. That's the only okay. Reason. Got it. It's an old house. It's not something that I normally frame. 1950s in a bad neighborhood. Okay. I mean, it's got a. It's on an acre. That's a good. That's a that's a that's a bonus there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for that area, that one acre, you know, that's not bad. But if I go out there, what what I probably am going to do, if I go out there. And it, it's on one of the worst roads, you know, and neighbors all look like they got shotguns looking at me through cross eyes, and I'm probably not gonna buy it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well what if uh what if you send like one of your one of your other guys out there and you don't go out there? No, I mean I'll I don't I don't send my other guy. Ah, gotcha. There's no other guy here that I would send. Okay. Uh, when I spend my personal money, I do it on my own level. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, perfect, man. Well, uh, I will shoot you a text there. Uh, sounds like this isn't something that you're comfortable saying, hey, right now, let's go at the 60. Sounds like you have to take a look at it. Am I, am I correct in that? Yes. yes Beautiful. Yeah, but you, and you also sound like someone that I want to do repeat business with down the road. You sound like you know what you're talking about, you know you know what you want. So um, I'll, I'll shoot it over to you. If it's okay, I know you said that you no news is bad news, but I'd still like to at least follow up so I can hear it verbally from you. You know what I mean? So yeah, on we, this one, sure, but on the future one, yeah. Send it to me, and if I get back to you, I get back to you. Absolutely, so cool. That's probably enough. Okay, good deal. Well, I'll shoot it over, and uh, you know, let me know what you think. Okay. Okay, sounds good. All right, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye. All right. Okay, we gotta give you a round of applause on that one, Steve. <laughs> You Thank guys you, see that? Like went from just like like the guy was like ready to hang up. I get forty of these per day. Like f off. And then, but here's the thing: when you get that, you just gotta. I, I dropped this in the chat. I don't know if you guys were watching the chat, but I said, you know, the top discipline managers on Bestwift, they'll sell over a hundred million dollars in homes per year. If you look at the biggest discipline shop in America, that's New Western. Their top guys will only do about ten million in properties moved per year. Our top guys are actually girls. They're actually all girls. And the way that they're able to do a hundred million a year is doing exactly what Steve just did there. Like you got to have no ego, have no ego. And actually the grumpy old guys are sometimes the best buyers because they'll just shoot straight with you. They're going to give you the info. They're local. They know all the streets. And when you're operating virtually, um, if you're mispriced on something, obviously they're going to try to beat you up. But when you talk to like five or six guys and they're all telling you the same story, you can figure out what's up with your deal real, real quick. And if they like it, they'll tell you. It was so funny. Like as soon as you said 60 K, you got him. All of a sudden his interest. And then he was trying to like find out what's wrong with it. He's like, what year was it built? Was it mobile? Mm -hmm. He's like, there's no way it's not mobile. And he's like, okay, it's not mobile. So his interest is big. So I bet you that guy will give you an offer, but it's not mm -hmm. going to come in until tomorrow. But yeah, you, now yeah. you got some interest at 60. You see that this thing has interest I, at 60. No, it, Do we hit Simon back? Sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead, Steve. Well, I was going to say, that's exactly why I wanted to do that. Like, like uh, part of the process that I was telling you guys, the trial close, and I think I trial closed this guy like three times, um, but yeah. I got him to verbally say 60 is a good price. I'm looking at it at 60 so that on my next call, I'm not lying to somebody when I say, hey, I've got people no. looking at this at 60. They're, they said their offer is going to come in tomorrow. But what I want to do, and I'll, I'll tell Simon this too. I was like, hey, man, to be honest, when now that I'm looking at it, like for whatever reason, my my uh, info was kind of skewed. But you were one of the first people that re replied to this. So I want to reward speed. And you sound like someone that works quick. You know what you want. But I do have someone that is in it at 60. He says he needs an extra day. If you can do 60 right now, let's go. Yeah. Um, Steve, let's blow their mind real quick. Click on Simon Otwell's profile. Okay. I think this is Alex Otwell's dad, by the way. Now click on Flip's history. Oh, Flip's history. Got it, got it, got it. So this is going to show us everything that this guy's done. So all the flips he's done. Um, he doesn't have a ton logged here, but he's probably operating through multiple entities. This is Alex Otwell's dad. Do mm. you know Alex Otwell? Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure this is Alex. Alex is. You can even ask him, like, "Hey, do you have a son named Alex?" Okay. What's, uh, <laughs> give me the rundown, man. What, what's uh, what's out? So if he says, "Yeah, yeah, that's my son," I can kind of talk about it a little bit, you know. Oh, you just say, "Hey, you've seen him on Investor Lift. He's learning about Investor Lift cartel boss." Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's call this guy. Let's see if we can push him to sixty. And um, yeah, yeah. Do you uh, okay? So, what do you think on this one, man? Do you think uh, we push him to sixty and lock it up, or see if we can push him to sixty? Think, that's it was whoever's deal it is on this call. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked for sixty. We're gonna give them sixty, unless you're unless whoever's deal it is is on this call and and wants us to try to push it more. We could push this up another five k if we worked it for a couple more hours tomorrow. That's probably. What I'm saying. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think we can. I think that's Tiffany, possible. who Tiffany, whose deal is this? This is Ryan Rice. He's a small Ryan. student of ours. Yeah. Is Ryan on the call? Yep. Ryan, do you want to wait till tomorrow and push this up another five? If you work this, if you jumped on Investive, I know Tiffany said you want to get an Investive account. If you put this on Investive, if you worked it another half day, you probably get five grand more. Yeah. Do you want to wait another half it's grand? Like it's, it's, it's clear these people think this is a deal. That's why they need to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. or we can just lock, or we can just sign it up right now at sixty. Your call. We'll go either way. We can sell this right now at sixty. That's well. That's his decision. Or wait twenty four hours, Ryan. What do you want to do? Lock. He said, "Lock it up at 60. Chris, he said, "Lock it at sixty. Lock it at sixty. All right, let's go. Lock, lock it up at sixty, it. baby. Let's lock it. Gonna get EMD. All right, get EMD. Ryan. All right, Ryan. Congrats, man. We'll get this locked up. Oh. Okay, well, we still got to move him up eight grand, but let's, uh, Steve, I have confidence in you. You're moving this guy up eight grand all day long. Hey, Simon. Yeah. Hey, Simon, this is Steve. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm re The reason why I'm reaching out is you had uh, expressed some interest in a deal that I had in uh, Oklahoma, Florida, over on 95th Street. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You you invest a lot in that area. I'm sorry. What was that? I hear some of weird things. I was having a thought quite a few in the last year or two in Oklahoma. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, you've taken a look at the deal. Like I said, just a brief run through. This one is a two bedroom, one bath, about eight thirty two uh, square feet. Um, 1.39 acres. So it's got some acreage on it. You know, obviously, like you said, it's your favorite place in the area. Um, the, we're, we're offering this right now at 60,000 and we do have some people that are looking at it and, and considerously considering 60 grand on this one. So that's why I wanted to reach out to you because I did notice that you were, you were actually one of the first people that responded to it. I just accidentally hit from like first to last and it kind of flipped my data. So, um, I wanted to reach out to you and see if, you know, if you could, the, the other guy said, Hey, I'll do the 60, 60 makes sense for me. You know, let me just run it by my contractor, you know, to, to figure it out. But, um, but again, if you were the first one, I want to reward speed. Um, Where you want to be, right? right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think that's feasible for you on this one? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so let's do that. What, let me do this real quick. I want to make sure I've got everything in line uh, as far as that goes. So we got uh, Otwell team at AOL.com. That is going to be the uh, email that we can send to that. Yeah. Perfect. And Business Solutions of Hillsborough, that is, uh, is that going to be the uh, the entity that you want to close in? Yeah, well, I'll ask you a bridge first. I'll ask you a bridge first. Okay. Okay. So you're good with that business solutions of Hillsboro. And then I, it looks like, I don't know if this is just on the platform, but it looks like the H is taken out. Is there an H at the end of it or is it just the G? Yeah, it should be an H on there. I think it's probably so long, getting cut off all the time. Gotcha. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 And then real quick question. I just have to ask, man, um, are you, are you related to, uh, to Alex? You know, Alex? Oh, okay, dude. That that's cool. That's what I thought. I see him on Investor Lift and, and everything like that too. The same program. So I just uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, nice, nice. Well, hey, let's get to eight hundred more, man. I I love finding buyers in these areas that um uh, that I can use repeatedly. So. Okay. I, I just kind of like. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, let's do it. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll type that up for you. Uh, just so you know, it, it's, it's going to shoot out your email. I'll give you a call right when it gets sent so we can kind of go through it and make sure, you know, everything gets done correctly and, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. 
I'm sorry. Oh, oh, right. Who are you seeing? That's cool. Awesome, awesome. I'm a. It, what's funny is I've I've never been a fan until I've went to a game. I think it's kind of like baseball, right? Like you're like, oh, it's kind of boring when I watch it. But when you were actually there, like hockey was the most fun I've ever had at a at a professional sports event. So. We have, we have cup seats. We get three drinks. Ooh. All right. Really nice yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Well, let's uh let's get this deal done, and maybe uh maybe I'll shoot down you know in that area. We'll go see a game together, man. Yeah, we 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 uh we have a garage, a private racetrack down in Black Cars. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 do track driving. Oh, nice. I've got, I've got a couple of race cars. But, uh, okay. Hey, it sounds like y'all have a good time, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, cool. Well, good, Simon. I'll go ahead and get that started. You go have fun, and we'll touch base and make sure everything gets wrapped up, okay? Yeah, thank you. You too. Have a good one, Simon. We'll talk soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Done. Boom. All right. There we Dixie go. Dixie Racks. Twenty thousand dollars time fee. We said we we're gonna sell it today. <laughs> we did not disappoint. Twenty you guys just saw it go down. Twenty thousand dollars made, and we did that. Look, we started at uh, I think uh, fifty-five minutes ago is when we started. So that was twenty thousand dollars on the board, and and literally fifty-five minutes. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. And we pushed them up. See, we see like if you like. If you get on the phone, you see how Steve was doing that, where he, like he wanted to get price confirmation from another buyer first. That like, hey, yeah, I like it at sixty. Like they can buyers, these buyers. Like you think about this industry. This industry, real estate investors are the biggest sharks of any industry. We got all the biggest sharks all in one industry, and they can detect BS from a mile away. So. If you don't, if you try to BS that you have someone else coming in at six and you don't, they can detect that just in the tonality and your voice and everything, and they'll see right through it. And you're not going to be able to get them up to 60. But the fact that Steve got, like, had the data there and could see that, hey, this other guy literally looked at three other deals within five miles within the last 12 months and was shopping on Invest with making offers on those, he was able to figure out real quick that, hey, yeah, we're confident at 60. And and then was able to come in with Simon and know for a fact that hey this thing's going at sixty, and the great thing too is like to be honest like you know I know the person who's dealing with this is someone that's looking at InvestorLift, but uh, once you get on InvestorLift, like Steve, you probably would actually have pushed this one for a few more hours, right, and mm -hmm. gone up to sixty five or seventy. Yeah, absolutely. Right, and I'll, I'll tell you this, InvestorLift, you know, it's not cheap. It's the most expensive goddamn software in real estate investing for a reason though because you can see what you can do with it but it starts at six grand like if steve had just jumped on investor lift he would have made his he would have just pushed this like an extra couple hours and made his entire year's license pay for his entire year's license just in that couple of hours mm -hmm. so that's the power of investor lift. that's what at the beginning of the call i said guys it's all about dispo it's all about the dispo if you can sell your deals 10 times faster and can sell them at twice the assignment fees it just completely changes the business because now you can fund more marketing. You can hire more people. You can uh, replace yourself out of roles in your business and really scale up your business. So everyone that's in, on this call, uh, please, 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 please. Like I always tell my sales team this. I say you are do, doing morally doing someone a disservice if they ever jump on InvestLift, see it and do not get it. We have a billion dollars that we've just made less than 1,000 companies here over the last um, last couple of years since we've been open to the public. So literally people's lives are being changed. There's guys I used to know that were driving around in Honda Civics, now they're flying around on private jets, right? Uh, not everyone's going to have those kinds of results, but if you have the skills, like Steve's got the skills, if you got the skills and you have the tools, that's the, ma the match made in heaven where you can literally just completely transform your business like that too. Like you can literally, this was not hard, right? Like what do we do? We, we posted the deal. Um, we did that before we jumped the call, but it just takes a few minutes. You upload your photos, all that. Anyone can do that. Um, and then we sent out a marketing campaign, which took, took 60 seconds to do. 
And then we're just following up with the people that responded to the marketing campaign or people that showed interest on stuff nearby in the area. Like it's not rocket science at all. It's just having access to the best data. And then, uh, and then learning from guys like Steve that are just really good on the phones. Like Steve, you did such a good job on those calls. Appreciate it, man. He had a guy that was like ready, like so aggressive. Tiffany's in the <laughs> comments. She's like, I would not have handled him like that. But you just like, you just reeled him in, reeled him in, reeled him in. And that was um, the key. That guy was the key to get the other guys at the 60, right? You get yeah. through that. He committed. And then, you know. And what I would do here, Steve, is I would then text him back. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, here's the deal. Uh, sorry, someone just got it. But let me get you. I'm going to put you on my VIP list for the next one. Yeah. The, the next time you have a deal in the area, when you call him, you know, he knows, okay, this is a legit wholesaler. Like I got to respond fast. So you got to program the buyers to know that, Hey, when Steve's, when Steve Francis is calling, you got to act fast. You got like hours, hours to move or the deal is going to be gone. Um, I try to sell all my stuff same day because it just gets buyers in the habit of like, Hey, when Robert Wensley calls, he's bringing money and I got to jump on that. Otherwise, I'm going to miss out. And that's how I was able to sell all my deals without ever doing any property inspections, any property walkthroughs, none of that. I would just package them up really well, like we did on this one today, inspection report, lots of photos, all of that, let it rip, and then just uh, just work the lead list. So, guys, I know there's been a ton of questions. We got a lot of questions that came in about different plans. On different plans, guys, just book a call with our team, okay? If you book a call with our team, I promise you it's going to be the highest return on it investment activity that you do this year. Even if you don't buy investor lift, we're going to diagnose your business, figure out what issues are in your business and help you get to the next level. Okay. So whether you buy investor lift or not, every one of you guys, there's 200 people, 184 of you guys on this call, every single one of you, you should be booking a call right now. Like it costs you absolutely nothing. We're going to look at your business. We're not going to sell this to you if it's not a good fit for you. If you're flipping, you've never wholesaled a deal before. Sorry. We're not going to book a call with you, okay? Like, you got to be wholesaling. You got to be have deals right now that you need to sell. Um, we only sell this. I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, oh, go open up a credit card and buy my product on debt. You know, like, if, if you don't run a wholesaling business that already has some traction, it's not going to be a good fit for you. But if you're on this call, chances are you are a legit wholesaler. You have deals you need to sell. If you do, 100%, jump on a call with our team. We're going to go through all the different plans. It starts at just over 5k with the coupon code that you get from Tiffany works this way all the way up to 50 grand. If you want to really get like full access to literally like 5 million buyers. Um, but there's, there's a starting point for all of you. Um, and it's, it's crazy high return investment, literally a billion dollars made for our community. Um, and super proud to have, I saw there was a bunch of guys that were on here in the comments. Uh, Mali, congratulations. I know you won one of the licenses during closers Olympics last year when Steve won during that competition. And I, I saw you made an extra five grand just on your first deal, $55,000 assignment. Absolutely incredible. I love hearing success stories. So guys, if you have success stories like that, share them with us. That gets my team fired up. And um, yeah, jump on investment. The beautiful thing about the tool is every single person that joins makes it more powerful for everyone else. So like, like Steve's not even taking a JV assignment fee. Steve's doing this just to like help up the investment community today. Um, but Steve knows that if 184 of you guys join, you're all going to be bringing in your buyers and it's going to get stronger. It's going to be better for him. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're all working together, building the buyers list together. That's the beautiful thing of like how Investor Lift works and why it's so powerful and why it's been such a good big game changer. So absolutely incredible. Steve, you rocked it. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate absolutely it. Absolutely crushed it once again. <laughs> absolutely. Cool. Whose deal was it again? Tiffany, what was the name of the person? Ryan. Ryan, 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 are you on here? Can we pull him up as a panelist? I'd love to hear his thoughts. W were you surprised, Ryan, by how fast we moved this? Up because I can't for my phone. I'm trying to find his name, unless he's under somebody. Not under name. his name. I think it was on someone else's name. I thought I, I, it was. Was it Chris something? Ryan, are you still on? Chris. All right, Chris. You should be allowed to talk, Chris. Hi, can you hear me? Is this yeah. Ryan? Yeah, yeah, it's Ryan. Hey. I don't know why it's with Chris. <laughs> You're confusing me. I'm trying to unmute Ryan, and there's no Ryan on there. <laughs> Dude, let's What did you think of that? Go. 
crazy. What's your thoughts, Ryan? What's your thoughts on everything? So, hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah. So we actually did a team day today. So I had my whole squad, all six of us in uh, my wife's car. And we were on the call when you guys opened it and saw a 52K offer. We all freaked out. This deal, <laughs> what kind of this deal was seriously going to be an incredibly difficult deal to that for for my dispo guy to dispo, just because it's in the middle of like BFE. There's like so hard to find buyers around here, and yeah. so Chris, my dispo guy, was kind of like not not dreading, but like okay, this is going to be a challenge. So we were all like, yeah. when Aaron hit us up, like, do you have a deal? I was like, dude, I got a deal, but it's a tough one. So the fact that you guys got this sold for sixty, our asking price. <laughs> literally just mind blown like great job great job yeah absolutely incredible uh thanks to steve steve you did all the hard work there if you want to sell steve, steve we didn't agree to this before the call but if you want to send him a jpg <laughs> for it. Yeah, dude, let me know man <laughs> uh, but steve, dude, Ross, dude you're a killer appreciate it man yeah um, but yeah, like literally this, this probably would have been a coin toss, right? Like if you had tried to sell this on your own, it, first of all, you've been working it for a week, right? Probably at least a week working this. Would you agree with that? Trying no, to find no. A buyer? no, we just got the, um, inspection back, um, this morning. So right when we got the inspection, okay. was we sent it to Aaron. So no, we hadn't marketed it, but. It oh, but like I'm saying, like market. with your with your conventional processes, like to move a deal like this, it would it wouldn't be one hour. It would probably take days, oh, right? Oh, to yes. move it. Yeah, exactly. It would have been a week for sure. Yeah, it would have been a week, number one. And then number two, it probably would have been a coin toss whether or not it sells, right? It probably you probably say probably 50 50 whether it sells or not. Would you agree with I that? I don't know. It would have been it would have been a battle. It would have been a battle. I think yeah. Chris would have pulled through, but it would have been a battle. It would have been a battle. It would have taken a long time. And then we just, you saw how easy it was there just because like, boom, you have the, the tools to go like magically see who was already shopping in the area, who was already making offers, all our stuff in the area. Boom, 60 minutes, not even 60 minutes, 55 minutes, full price offer. Um, so uh, it was Ryan, right? Ryan? Yeah. Um, yeah. Reach out to our team. We'll get you rocking and rolling. Let's keep plugged in. Let's do this on all your deals. Let's get all your deals selling in an hour. And then, um, and then like, like, like we said earlier, like we could have pushed this one out probably even more. Another few yeah, hours working, honestly, we could probably push it up 65, 70. Yeah. I honestly just wanted you guys to be able to like show how sick the product was. I knew we could have got sick. more, but I wanted you guys to, I wanted everyone to see the show, dude. I love it. Hey, I appreciate it. We all, we all, we all appreciate that. <laughs> so, so thanks for that. No, this was great. Awesome time. Guys, do we have any questions? Um, let's open up to questions. Who's got questions? Um, Robert, and, I want to I want to frame this a little bit for everybody. Robert, how long do yeah. we have you guys? A couple more minutes. Well, I, I, yeah, I know we have been on a certain amount of time, so I don't want to go. I don't want to over. I don't want to push it with you guys because I know we locked yeah. you up for ninety minutes. So I want to be respectful of your guys' time for sure. Yeah, we can do a couple minutes of questions, but guys, if it, if your questions are about like plan types or like how a feature works or like something like that, like just um just jump on a call with our team because like we can really dive into detail. Um, but if it's like strategy level questions, things like that, uh, we can do a few minutes of those. Okay. Maria says, uh, what strategies would you use to drive up the offer above the asking after waiting for 24 hours? Yeah. So some guys, like if they can go out there and actually see the deal, it de-risks it even more for them. The more you de-risk a deal for someone, the more they're going to be able, they're, they're going to be willing to, um, offer on it. Right. So like we had a buyer there that was wanting to go see it. If we did allow him to go drive, like at least do a drive by like that day or like the next morning or whatever, chances are after he's actually seen it, that will just de risk it for a little bit, him a little bit in his mind. And we could probably push him up to 65 or seven. Okay. So that's one strategy or just like, just find you more buyers. So like we had like one, like kind of like soft, like, yeah, I like it at 60. If it looks good, if there's not like, uh, what do you say? Rebel flags up and down the street. <laughs> that's uh, or anything. Yeah. Right. So like, that's like, like very soft. If we had gotten like a few more softs or a solid, like where we got like three or four or five, then we know for sure. Okay. We can push this up another five or 10. And then it's just like playing them off of each other. Right. You want to put the money in your pocket instead of your buyer's pocket. And um, the way to do that is just increase demand. Hopefully that, that answers that question. Okay, Ryan, 
What are the key strategies for integrating an investor with real estate investment companies' existing process, processes to maximize efficiency and deal flow? Specifically, how can we leverage your platform's analytics and investor matching features uh-huh. to streamline our operations and enhance our property listings, visibility, and attractiveness? Okay, so what you want to do, Ryan, on acquisitions, you're going to keep everything as is. Just as soon as the property gets under contract, if you're on investor lift, you're going to send that over to your dispo team and your, your dispo team's A to Z dispo process can be handled through investor lift. Okay. So the system is built and designed just to take the property from purchase contract to sale contract. Okay. And we, when you come on investor lift, we give you all the training free and we'll walk you through that entire process. Okay. Did you like swimming? So I think we got, I think uh, Tiffany, your mic's on. Oh. <laughs> We get it. We get to meet Tiffany. We get to meet Sailor. Sailor just came in here. Oh, no worries. Um, all right. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah. So we'll train you on how to do all of that, guys. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna mail up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Please email. Okay. So it looks like we have that email there. Yeah. If you could just. Um, well. Yeah. We'll have our team reach out to you. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. Blah blah okay. blah. Matt wants Liam to hear this from Robert's mouth. Yeah, go ahead. I've only I've been only loading one pick of the outside. Should he do that? Uh, that's absolute insanity. Terrible idea. We this is marketing. You got to drive interest to your deal. The pictures are what gets people interested. Plus, when you have more photos on the deal, then when they're going through Artemis mode or when you're on your Artemis mode, you can see who's more interested by based all of that, right? The more photos we're looking at, their scores increasing. Yeah. So Matt, Without I have a photos, graph. There's no. Yeah. I, I have a graph that shows a direct correlation between how many photos you upload and how fast you sell a deal and how much money you make on the deal. So I, it's something like each additional photo increases your average. The, the assignment fee on average increases. I think it's. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's two hundred fifty-eight dollars per additional photo. So you probably literally lost. Depending on what your deal flow is, you probably lost thousands, if not tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars with that strategy. Now, that's fine. You had a hypothesis. You were thinking, I, I see the logic here. Hey, they're going to reach out to me and ask me to get all the pictures. Um, but you, Investor Lift already achieves that for you, the address request feature. You show them the photos. If they like to see the photos, they're going to ask for the address. And every time they click that button to request the address, it generates a lead for you. Okay, so we already have that lead gen, lead gen mechanism built for you in a way that's not going to decrease your assignment fees. Okay, um, so yeah, always have as many photos as possible. Um, let's see. Yeah, Tiffany and her go, business, go, go, go. so everybody knows, she's she's a hundred minimum. When she uploads photos, yeah. she pushes a hundred plus photos for every deal that she does. Mm-hmm. So Robert's spot on on that, and it's what's worked so well. Yeah. Robert, talk about the have difference you, in assignment fees when you have a video walkthrough versus no video walkthrough. Yeah, it's uh, I believe over seven thousand dollars more on average we see. So we just took the database and we looked at average assignment fee of pro- all properties ever listed on Investor that had a video versus without. With a video, average assignment fee is I believe it's seven thousand two hundred dollars higher on average last time we checked. Now. Some people then say, okay, well, that's probably just because people only get the videos on the most expensive properties. Uh, we looked at that as well. And actually the average asking price for a property with a video is actually four or $5,000 lower. They're almost the same, but it's actually lower. So you expect a lower assignment fee, but you don't. You see $7,000 increase just by having a video. Um, next is how do you pull potential buyers within God mode over to your buyers list if there aren't any emails associated with those buyers? Yeah, so Nick, the idea with God mode is you want to use God mode to reach out and make contact with that buyer. Okay. And then once you make contact with that buyer, um, ask them for their email address. And then, and then once you have the email address, you just click that plus button. And then, like on God mode, you see a little plus button be- beside their name. You click that plus button. And while you're on the phone with them, you just ask them, hey, what's your email? You type in their email there. And then um, I just click add to buyers list. And that's how you add them to your buyers list. And then once they're added, you'll see that buyer's name will turn into blue to show that's linked. And that's already on your buyers list. Uh, The reason why we don't show skip trace result emails, like skip tracers do return emails, but the email uh, accuracy rate is so poor. 
it's like less than one percent so even though our skip churches do give us emails we did test that in the past and it was just such bad quality data that we're just like no we we there, there's this is just going to destroy our email list if we allow this data to be displayed because people will just download it upload it into their buyers list and then we'll just have all these bounced emails just destroying our reputation with the email servers how can we see that other properties have sold for in an area? Uh, you can see that on God mode. So uh, if you haven't seen God mode, jump on a call with our team. We'll show you every buy and hold, um, every fix and flip. Oh, yes, yeah, it's for an, in an area in God mode. Yeah, you just scroll down the list. You'll just look at uh, purchase and sale price. They're both columns in God mode. Matt Williams, second question. Like literally 95 to 97% of my buyers all say they want to see a property. Beyond providing inspection, what else can I do to avoid this? I want to see it first garbage. Uh, so yeah, I find that people volunteer that a lot too too quickly. Like a lot of times you're jumping on a call and people just kind of like, like, oh, you do, when do you want to go out and see it? Like, don't volunteer. Don't. That's the first first mistake I see teams making. Um, inspection report, 100 photos and video walkthrough. Any serious buyer will, will, will buy the deal without seeing it. But you got to push urgency, right? Like I'll use phrases like, Hey, yeah, I'm selling this deal today before I move out of the office. Hey, I just blasted out on investor lift literally 30 minutes ago. I already have a hundred leads of buyers that want to see it. You got to let buyers know they're not the only one that is looking at it. They're not the only one that is being presented with this opportunity. You're bringing them money. You're bringing them the ability to get money, but you don't have to go with them. You can go for anyone. And if they're going to be slow, they can be slow. You always be like, yeah, if you want to go see it, you can go see it. But my plan is to sell this site on the scene before I leave the office today. So we could tentatively try to set something up tomorrow, but I'm thinking this is going to move today. Um, sometimes you do want to sell stuff. You do want to do inspections. Like the market has shifted. I retired from wholesaling uh, like two and a half years ago. So the market was a lot hotter. I don't think I would be able to sell everything site on the scene right now. Like, just being honest, like, I don't think I'd be able to sell, especially this real stuff. In major cities, it's a lot easier. Um, the stuff that like, Tiffany things... teaches with going and getting an inspection, the more you give to the buyers, the more questions you answer for them. And something that is massive is that we did this interview with Zach Keeps. He's this, I think he's the yeah. largest single family property owner in Phoenix. And what he said is the most important thing is that when he's calling on properties on InvestorLift, is that the person he's talking to needs to know about the deal. If you're answering the phone from buyers or you're talking to buyers and you don't know about your deal, every detail or as many details as possible, then they're going to have more questions. If you don't sound competent, if you like, it's, it's the biggest turnoff from a deal. In fact, I think right then and there, Zach called a property. The person was like, yeah, yeah. Like, can I just get back to you later? And then Zach bought a property from the next guy he called like two minutes later. Cause the guy had all the answers. Yeah. yeah. These guys are getting 40, 50 deals per day. Uh, uh, pro tip, go drive. Uh, first of all, go on the InvestLift YouTube channel and watch that video. Yes. We we have office hours. There, there's a video. We went behind this, the scenes and just drove around with him for a day. I recommend that too. If you guys are wholesaling and you haven't really like been a buyer yourself, go ask one of your buyers to drive around with them for the day. They're just getting deals sent to them all day long and they're driving around doing drive by seeing which ones they like and they'll buy one or two deals a day a lot of these guys. Okay, top five things that lead to the most success with InvestLift when posting properties. Um, Number one is going to be having uh, lots of photos, a good primary photo. The primary photo is going to drive your click-through rate. Having a video, having a 3D walkthrough, having a property description. Um, and the fifth one is going to be, this is really critical. We actually did not do this on this deal um, because we're in a little bit of a rush because we just got, we just posted this like two hours ago and we need to just like let it rip. But don't go, the system will allow you to do up to 7,000 emails in a blast. Don't just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. We allow you to do 7,000. Do not do 7,000 on your first blast because when the email service providers see 7,000 emails going out, it looks like a marketing promotion. They're going to push you to the promotion of tab on Gmail, which is pretty much like just kills your click through rate. It'll, 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 it'll knock out, it'll knock out like 80% of your click through rate. So, what you want to do is the system will automatically, anyone that buys a deal off investor left, it automatically moves them to VIP. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the guys that have actually bought stuff on InvestLift already see your deal with 100% certainty. So your first blast, select VIP only, get rid of the realtors. I, on my first blast, I always 
VIPs only, exclude realtors, exclude wholesalers. So I'm really dialed in. Um, and then what I'll do is I will email it and text it to just the VIPs. Like I try to keep the, the first blast under 500. Because if you keep the first blast under 500, your click-through rate, you're going to have like a, a 3 to 10% click-through rate on that first blast instead of having like a 0.5% click-through rate, right? So that's really key. Start really small. Then wait a few hours. And if you haven't moved it to one of the VIPs, just wait a couple hours. Then do another blast. But do the next blast like sub-1,000. Then sub-5,000. Then like slowly increase it. Don't just let it rip to night. 7,000 all, all at once. You shoot yourself in the foot when you do that. Has anyone at InvestorLift looked at creating a link that a wholesaler can send to a buyer so they can sign up for their buyer's list and opt into text and emails versus doing it manually? Yeah, so exactly. We've already solved this. You don't need to like register for buyer's list anymore. We could, like people that, buyers that operate within InvestorLift, uh, anytime they interact with a deal, they automatically get added to your buyer's list. They've already registered. It used to be back in the day that every time someone wanted to register for a buyer's list, like each person would have their own like lead form. And then me as a buyer, I'd have to go on your lead form and type in my email and my phone number, my first name and my last name and my buy box. And every single wholesaler, I'd have to do that over and over and over and over and over again. On Investor Left, when the buyers come on, they put in their info once, they set their buy box once, they set their locations once. And then every time they come to someone's deal that they like, they can just click subscribe, just like YouTube, right? When you see a YouTuber that you like, you just click the su subscribe button. It's the same thing with you guys on InvestLift. Once you're on InvestLift, when buyers see their, your deals, they can just click subscribe and they automatically get added to your buyer's list. But the other thing we do is every time they interact with your deals, like request an offer, submit an inquiry, make an offer. If they've showed some level of interest and interact with your deals, we automatically add them to your buyer's list as well. And then you get all the information that they've already set up in their portfolio. You find a huge difference in virtual walkthroughs. Yes, even more than video. I don't remember the specific number, but I believe it's over $8,000 uh, increase in assignment fees between properties with a virtual walkthrough and without. Could you please provide guidance on the best practices for utilizing InvestLift to effectively dispose of your deals? We can ensure that you're leveraging all the features and capabilities. Okay. So, Ryan, uh, we actually just fil finished filming the InvestorLift University, which is coming out next week. Okay, so just watch, go on InvestorLift on YouTube, subscribe there, and next week you're going to see the InvestorLift University dropping. Does InvestorLift have an app? Okay, this is kind of incognito, but I'll tell you about it since you guys all joined this car, this call. Uh, we do have the mobile app. Actually, I just saw the first version of it. Uh, it is not out yet. It should be launching probably sometime in March. It'll, it'll be going live. We're just finishing testing on it, but it is actually completed. Uh, Jonathan, no purchase prices or photos within God mode and KC Emma, where I'm looking, perhaps I'm doing something wrong, would be a great feature to see the comp photos sold price. Yeah, actually, we did just buy a, a license to uh, all the photos of all the properties uh, from the MLS and Zillow and Redfin, all those. So we're going to be adding photos to God mode very soon. Uh, with God mode data not showing up in those areas, it could be that they're non-recording, possibly. Just send those to our team. We'll take a look at it. Uh, but it might be, there, there's recording and non-recording states. Some areas are just non-recording. And if they're non-recording, the data just doesn't exist because there's laws against it. Um, behind the scenes with the top buyer. Liam, thanks for, yeah, watch that YouTube video. What do you guys use for photos, videos, walkthrough? Yeah, a company called HomeJab. Okay, we'll drop the, uh, oh, Liam, you already, you already had me on this. A Marty on it. The remaining yeah. top three things of the top five. Yeah. So uh, just to reiterate, uh, so good photos, a video, 3D walkthrough, property inspection, and then number five, start small with your email blast and then increase the email blast as you go. Those are the top five most important things. Oh, I'll get yeah, you an S6 use, one. Use SMS blast. This, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to give you a few spend more. The, spend the more. You are insane. Absolutely goddamn insane if you don't text out your deal. This is the highest return on investment activity of anything you can plug money in into your entire business. It blows my mind that, so email, most guys on email are going to get a 0.5 to 3% click-through rate. On SMS Blast, you're going to get 10, a lot of times you're going to get 10 plus percent response rate. And everyone's reading your text messages within five seconds of them sending. 
So sending text messages is literally the highest return on investment thing you can do to increase your sign-up fee. And I see people that are trying to save 25 bucks or save 50 bucks and not text it. I'm like, dude, you could have made another $10,000 by send, spending 25 bucks. It's absolute insanity. Uh, just ab- the stupidest thing. Spend the 50, the 100 bucks, text every single deal. Okay. Exactly. So just here's, here's the numbers right here. On this deal, we sent 13,653 emails, 21 people opened it. We sent 4,000 text messages, over 200 people opened it. So you got over 10 times the amount from the text. And then people are, they're scared off because it, it costs, you know, what, three cents a text message, but it's the its the greatest leverage you can apply. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. Um, and we basically, people like people think we make a, a ton of money on those. We don't because we send the images. It costs us 2.6 cents to send an image. That's our blended average cost on sending an image. So we do make a little bit of money. We make 0.4 cents. Okay. But I also spent a quarter million dollars building that system. And I spent $2 million getting everyone opted in for you. So I got to get a return on investment. So I'm slowly trying to chip away from those sunk costs, 0.4 cents at a time. <laughs> I'm still in the hold on those. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take you a minute. Hey, Robert, why don't you do one question. more question? Why don't you do one yeah. more question? I feel, I feel bad we're pushing you past what we obligated you to, not obligated, what you committed to. And yeah. So we don't, we don't want to keep gonna, you on here for hours, but. I'm going to wrap it up with questions. We're going to sure. drop two links here. Okay. So, Perfect. well, you, there's a link there to join guys. Jump on with our team. I just want to be respectful Liam, of your time because Tiffany said absolutely. be respectful because Robert will, will give and give and give. So be respectful of his time. So absolutely. I'm to do that. So guys, uh, I just noticed a comment there, the Jerry Norton, zero to million dollar playlist. You get you found that very killer. Go on Jerry Norton's channel. There's two video playlists there. There's one that's zero to a million with Robert Wenz and Jerry Norton. Watch that playlist. I give my entire zero to a million playbook in that on that playlist. And then there's another one that we just did with Brandon Bateman. Watch that one too. Those two are both absolutely killer. And then go on YouTube, subscribe to Invest for Lift. Uh, and... If you subscribe to InvestWift, we're going to have the InvestWift University dropping next week. And then if you have more questions, just hit me up on IG. But DM me right now. I'm going to the beach after this. Go chill and have some Mai Tais. I'll DM you back if you follow me right now. And just shoot me a message. Just say that you were on this call. Okay? And then just jump on with our team. Jump on with our team. We'll get you on a call. And uh, hopefully we can absolutely change your life like we've done for so many other investors across America. Beautiful. All right. One that's extra, it for one today. super important. Before, before we close out, there's one important note that I don't think we covered. And you want your dispo people to be your best closers. There's this false idea in the space that you want your acquisitions people to be your best closers. Listen, I've been an acquisitions guy my, my entire life. I'm a sales guy. At the end of an acquisitions call, you're getting two cents of ink on paper. At the end of a dispo call, you're getting a $5,000 EMD wired over. We see people in our group saying like, I have three dispo VAs and I'm not selling any deals. No fucking shit, Sorry. dude. You're like, it's crazy. You want, like, look at Steve. Steve could kill acquisitions, but he's on dispositions. Have your best people, your most experienced people on dispositions, not acquisitions. 100%. Love it. Great final bomb job. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate having me on here. Hope you guys got some value and we'll see you on the next one. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Robert, for your time. Steve, for your expertise. Liam, for your expertise and knowledge. We appreciate you guys spending, shoot, almost two hours with our community to share and to give and to give back and help them. So thank you so much for that time and effort. Nikki and Tiff's office, thank you for being here, answering questions in the chat. You guys have all been wonderful. And I'll drop the link one last time to join us connect with Robert and his team, learn the process, learn what they can do. It's worth the call to have a demo and a walkthrough, ask your questions, see what is there for you, see how it can benefit your business. It'll be one of the best things you do. So schedule that. Thank you so much, Robert. Enjoy the beach, my friend. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Thank Thank you, everybody.